Welcome back to this episode. Um, like I said in the previous video, if you guys didn't watch that, it's a, just an update video, but like I said, I'm going to be working on the axle install. I'm reshooting it because the one that I edited before didn't really like it. The audio is way off. Um, I plan to get a better camera, guys, I promise. And I already have the mic. I just need a camera that can use it and has autofocus. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know down below and I will get a better camera, a better mic. So these videos are not crap. Um, but today, we're doing the axle install. I swapped out the OEM axle because it was busted, which you guys saw in the header install video. And so last night, me and Anthony went to Napa, picked up these from a buddy. And so we're gonna install that because when I replaced it with the Dura Last Gold one, it kind of sucked. And it's clicking and binding. I think it's too long, they gave me the wrong one. So we'll figure it out, we'll pull it out, we'll put them next to each other, see the length, see what happened. And we're gonna throw in this new one. Got the car in the driveway. I kind of want to document how much of a bitch it is to kind of like get this car in jack stands. Because you know the hill we're on, you know how low I am. So it's, it, it's kind of a two jack process. And I'll try and film it's, that as best as possible. So on our hill I like to put a jack stand, I also like to put a tire just in case the jack stand fails, and I also like to leave the jack as a third safety precaution. All just in the name of safety because I've already had this car fall on me once, I'm not trying to have it happen again, so. Like I said in the last video, you're gonna have to take off this cotter pin, this castle nut. You're also gonna have to take off all the upper arms. So these are all 19s. There's three of them. And then you're also gonna have to take off the bottom mount for the coil, which is a 17. But this is the new axle. Completely fine, but it just needs to come out. Now that this side is all off, everything is loose and disattached, we can move to the inside part of the axle, which is right there on the diff. So, yes, I'm missing one bolt up there because the input shaft for my diff is like kind of messed up. So, yes, I know I'm missing one there, but um, gotta take off the six bolts, that, or well, five bolts in my case, but the six bolts that go to the diff from the axle. Make sure you let down your e-brake so that you can spin your axle freely and you can get to each bolt, which are 12 millimeter by the way. So here's the Dura last one out, and here is the new one going in, I believe. Let me check, actually. Yeah. Not new, but used. Used good condition one. See? I don't get it. They're the same length. They should be fine. But this new one is definitely binding like crazy. So we'll throw this one in. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, then I don't know what to do. But if you guys don't already know, I didn't know. I was asking on the threads, but 
driver's side is slightly shorter than passenger side. This top one is a passenger side one, and then these two are driver's side ones. So it's a slight bit shorter. You can see it on the end right here. But I thought they, AutoZone had given me a passenger side one. That doesn't seem to be the case, so I'm still gonna keep trying to figure out why this axle thing is not working. So reinstalling the axle is just as simple as pulling it out. I've kind of figured out that if you basically put a little bit of pressure on this side, so put the bolts back in, it's a little bit easier to line up the other end of the axle. So first you put this side in, and then you put that side in. That's the only way I found to do it, so I'm uh, gonna bolt that up real quick, and we'll go for a test drive. Okay, everything is back together, all bolted up, all torqued down, solid. Before we give it a test drive, while the wheel is off, I want to test fit these rays because these are going to be my drift spares. Um, I ended up picking these up because I actually, I have all those tires in the back, which you guys know. I wanted to throw all those tires on these wheels, but these wheels already came with great tires. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe drift on these and then just still have more tires. I was trying to like create more space by having less tires. Um, but more tires on wheels, but that didn't end up happening because these had tires and they're great. So we'll see. Um, I still might have to take off the tires just because these are 50 sidewall. Oh, never mind. These are actually 45. So we will <laughs> we'll actually just run these. Doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Clears pretty well, actually. Um, so I'll be tucking, which is perfect, because I haven't pulled these fenders yet, so it should be good. Let's try the fronts. Or, sorry, let's try the by 9s then. And that looks like that'll clear as well. Once it's lowered, the wheels will camber a little bit, so I'm pretty satisfied. Still has huge tires, but I guess I'll just burn them off. I don't, I don't know what else to do, so. That's that. Just want to talk a little bit about these wheels. I'm sure you guys have heard of Volk Racing and Race Engineering. Volk makes the TE37s, which is the pair that I have that I usually don't use for drifting. So I actually have all my drift pairs are pretty much Volks and Works, which is crazy. I never thought I'd be on that level. But um, yeah, these are two piece wheels. So I'm going to take the face off, redo all these bolts because this is not uh, OEM hardware. As you guys probably know if you know anything about wheels this looks like some Home Depot like <laughs> different things but I'm gonna change all these um, thankfully it's just the rear ones but I'm probably gonna change them for all the wheels so they all match uh, I'm most likely gonna go with gold um, hardware and I'll probably polish up these lips while the face is off too the face I thought I was gonna have to repaint or powder coat but they don't look too bad they're not scuffed they're just a little bit dirty so um, I'll just clean them up and run them as is. They're, they're drift spares, so they don't need to be perfect. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied. Got them for a really good price, so not even bad. The price that I spent on these, um, I got them all four with tires that are in good condition for cheaper than I would have got a set of reps for. So it's a no-brainer. Might as well get it. Um, so I'm going to be drifting on all real wheels yet again. So but these aren't um, as crazy baller, so I'm not worried if I like mess these up, so I'm pretty happy about that. And they come with tires, so and they're 17, so not a bad day. I'm gonna burn the tires off of these, then I have more tires to throw on them back there, and then my roommate wants to burn the tires off these. They're 18s, and they're just some blizzacks, but he's not using them for the snow, so he just wants me to burn them off, I don't know. We'll see, they've just been sitting in our garage but I'm pretty set for drift spares. We do have a drift event coming up on the 30th of this month, so we will be out there at Thunder Hill again, and hopefully we can get some tandems in. I can start using the e-brake, learning better. Um, I, I just need more seat time, obviously, and that's why I'm waiting to throw the turbo kit on, because I don't know enough <laughs> to be dealing with like boost and drifts, you know? So I just wanna learn more and get better, but now let's go test drive this thing with the new used axle. Figured while I'm out test driving the car, I might as well figure out what size these are since I'm going to be replacing all of them anyways. If it will focus, 
I like how it's OEM rays. That's so cool. But um, I'll do a whole video of me redoing these wheels. And so when you take apart wheels and things like that, um, I can show you all the steps. But I just took these apart real quick. Used an 8mm, if it'll focus. 8mm, 12 point. And then a 10mm on the back for the bolts. But yeah, this table is coming in super useful. We just got it from Costco like last week. And it's holding all our stuff, all our car parts. It, work, it works great for a bench. So you can do work on top of tables. Like instead of trying to figure out where we're going to do work, we can just work on top of this table just like this. So I was able to get the bolt off the wheel. No problem. There it is. You just hold this one on the front like so, and on the back, just take another one and just start taking the bolts off. It's two wrench job, but, or yeah, two socket job, but whatever, not too bad. And it, having this table is just super useful. It makes jobs like this so easy. So I'm excited for whatever we have planned in the future and all the things that we're going to get done on this table. But right now, I'm going to test drive the car with the new axle and I'm going to head to Home Depot, figure out what size this bolt is, and then um, I'll probably order the gold ones today or something. And we'll go from there. And then I'll shoot a video on me rebuilding these. So stay tuned for that. So Home Depot ended up being a bust because when I went to go put the bolt in, it didn't give me the right size. So um, if you guys know what Ray's wheel hardware size is, I'm probably going to go with the M7 or M8. I just want to know like the length. I think it's a 28 millimeter, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna do some researches in a second and figure it out, but I'll probably end out the video here. Um, the test drive was successful though. The axle is no longer binding and clicking. So I gotta take back this new axle to AutoZone and warranty it out. And hopefully they can give me one that actually works. And I'll just have that as a spare. I'll use it for drift events and things like that. Um, but yeah, car's working fine now. The next step, is getting the clutch done because it's slipping after the first event and we have an event like I said on the 30th so I want to make it to that gotta get the clutch done but I have to break it in for 500 miles I got a white bunny clutch set up from Injuku waiting for it to come in we have three or so weeks until the drift event so I should have plenty of time to break in the clutch but it's just it's coming down to the wire so um, I just need to get it install it and we'll be set um, like I said, I have a lot of parts that are ready to go on. It's just I need time, so stay tuned for those episodes. If you like this episode, um, it helped you with your axle woes. Um, let me know, comment down below, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>